Well, wonderful, wonderful. So thank you very much, all of you, my lovely listeners and viewers for joining in and joining me and joining all the wonderful presenters with their shows here on the Aswa Radio Network, Imana Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. I hope you are all very well and you have had a great week, whether it is warm or cold or cooler or whatever season you are experiencing right now. I feel what is really common in our experience these days that how much we are feeling the sense of time, the shift of time, and how much you might experience that uh, the days and then the hours are going much faster these days. So my invitation to you, my lovely friend, just to really relax and really sense and feel what it really feels for you to experience one minute or an hour or even a day. So that is the invitation. And as you can see, I am coming to you live from a different space. That's my studio, my music studio. So here we go. It's really good to be here. I'm your host, actually. I need to tell you, I'm your host, Susanna Herzog. I'm a medium. I'm based here in the UK. And you can find all my information on my web page, susannamedium.com, and all the main social media pages as Susanna Medium. And you can find me doing various things and doing readings and live events as well. So if you live nearby, if you live here in the UK, check out my pages because I might be coming closer to your home to do maybe a presentation, maybe a talk, maybe a live demonstration of mediumship. So anything which is I really very much timely uh, scheduled or being scheduled for the autumn term and for the winter term. So this show today i'm going to take one live caller and then i know it's been a little while i have spoken to somebody here apart from my wonderful guest the other days here on uh, on air and i tell you while i'm talking about my wonderful guest while i'm talking to you uh, about my wonderful guest if you remember the full circle podcast the other day wonderful three people They've released a conversation, an interview with me this week. So if you come to my pages, you can find a link to that conversation, which was actually quite, quite interesting and beautiful. And I felt very humble to be invited and, and uh, being able to talk to them. So you can check that one out. But I can see I have a caller, Julian, in Cherry Hill. What a wonderful place, Cherry Hill in New Jersey. So oh, Julian, hello. how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I can hear you very clearly, so it's really, really brilliant. You live in a wonderful place called Cherry Hill. Oh my goodness me, that's lovely. So how can I help you? Um, yeah, I just wanted to um, see if I could connect with my mom. Your mom, yes, okay, did you say it's about like two and a half years ago, yeah. Okay, two and a half years ago. Okay, now immediately, so, you know, I know having someone's mom passing and it's quite recent, two and a half years, so it's quite, quite recent to you. But what she's immediately showing me, if you understand, my hand needed to come in a form of prayer. And I'm also feeling I'm holding flowers. So I'm feeling the sense of flowers, the love of flowers. Would you understand that with her, please? Yeah. You do, you do. Would you also understand that I also know how to how to organize the flowers, you know, the flowers, and then whether I'm going with the colors or a different different uh, types of flowers, but as if I have a deeper relationship with the bouquet and then the flowers in my hand, and I also feel that she was able to tell you different stories, whether they were fairy tales or different stories in relation to the flowers. Would you understand that, please? The flowers, yes. The story is maybe more my daughter. Maybe, okay, maybe your, your daughter. It's, it's quite interesting because while I was feeling the flowers, um, what, her message with, through the flowers is that people can be very, very different in our lives, just like how we have the flowers here. And what she's saying that, you know, sometimes we, you know, our intention is to keep everything and everybody together and really looking after everything. But 
sometimes it happens that some members, whether they are family members or people around you, they stand out or they want to stand out for some reason. And we might have the intention to wanting to keep everything together, but we need to recognize that we cannot hold on to things and we cannot hold on to people, situations, because they have their own lives and they have their own stories. So would you understand this conversation around you, please? That I feel that I need to I need to look after a group of people and then I need to be very organized, but at the same time, I am just observing some members of the family with different situations, different conversations, and as if I am trying to understand their point of view. Can you take that, please? Um, yeah, um, being organized, I am trying to um, do that for a while, um, yeah. but I feel like I can never get ahead, and I have three, I have three little ones. Yes, yes, yes. Now what she's saying that, you know, you are doing everything well, you know, you are doing very well, in fact. And then while I'm holding my hand like this, her energy is as if open your heart, you know, open the options and open, open for different, open your ideas and, and your view to consider things from a different angle. And you know how sometimes you want to really organize things. Sometimes we need to take a different point of view, or sometimes we just need to relax and sit back and see how things unfold, you know, as opposed to step in the middle of the picture and trying to do things for others, for the other people. Now, would you understand with her, because I, I'd like to say more from her that uh, um, a little discomfort in my throat. Can you repeat that? Yes. Would you understand the condition with her, with the discomfort around my throat, please? Yeah. You do. Not Would you totally, but it, it makes sense, but I don't fully understand what happened, but I... Yeah. Okay, so okay, so would you understand? Is it a yes or a no? Or yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. You do. Okay, okay. Thank you. Because somehow I'm feeling as if whether I can eat ice cream, whether I can take the cold or I can't take the cold. And it is important for me that you know about that, you know, and then you recognize it first it's as if I need to protect my voice and need to protect my throat. And what I, with that, um, having said that, would you understand with her that her, her expressing her point of view was important and as if requesting everybody to, you know, now I am talking and please listen to me because I know it's important what I want to say and then you will benefit from that. Would you understand that, please? Yeah. Yeah, feel free to say it doesn't resonate, but I feel with this lady as if she's coming forward as somebody who really wants to keep everybody together. So whether she was a teacher or somebody who 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 got who got everybody together and knew that what she needed to say and what she had to say had importance, as if being ahead of her time and trying people to understand things, you know, like uh, whether teaching or conversation or empowerment, I feel that she she felt that her voice, her point of view needed to be heard and it is important and it was important. And through her, what she's saying is that don't, don't underestimate your conversations and, and your point of view, because right now you are experiencing them in your mind, you know, and then you are running your conversations in your mind as opposed to directly saying what you need to say and to the person when you need to speak. And what she's saying that the words what you need to say to certain people and situations, there will be there when you need to speak. Your only job is just to take a big take a, a breath of air, you know, taking, take a big breath and have the courage to say exactly what you need to say. I also feel that because giving me, she's giving me a pen in my hand and then would you, with her, would you understand uh, a gentle trembling or condition in the hand that I am, I know I want to hold my pen, but it is a little bit difficult for me. Can you take that for her, please? Um, yeah, she, my mom had arthritis and carpal, carpal okay. tunnels in her, in her hand. 
Okay, bless, bless her. What, but what she's saying that I'm making an attempt, you know, how I'm holding the pen because my mind is there. And as long as my mind and my thoughts are there, I know what I am doing. I feel that she was really, she was really holding herself very strongly and all together until the very last, last time, until the last moment. For you through oh, the right. I'm sorry to interrupt you. But yeah, I uh, uh, her hand as well. I was hold her right hand. Okay. At the end. Okay. okay. Bless you. Bless you. Through her own experience, Julia, she's showing that when an opportunity comes to you, you grab it. You know, just like how she was hanging on to the pen, and the pen represented her point of view, and then she's there very much to support you and what she's showing with the forthcoming two three four month will be important for you and then what you have started putting down like building blocks now it is the time that you put your foot down not just putting the building blocks you know the pave how you are paving paving your own route own road but then how you are putting your foot down people need to hear your conversation and your opinion and then I feel that once you get the courage and the strength going within yourself, people will be quite a few people will be surprised by by what you are saying and how you are expressing yourself. Now, while it's quite interesting because I'm here in my music room, I've got about 60 seconds here, Julian. I'm also aware of her coming around and humming a song. So would you understand that music or humming or singing singing that just very very gently was important for her because that is what i'm feeling here um yeah i mean we i mean we sing around our house all the time my daughters and plays and things and yes uh, we're... yes <laughs> yes She's very much joining in. This is what she's showing me. You know, she's very much joining in, and then she's here to lift the energy and and bring you that that uplifting energy. So, Julian, thanks very much for calling in, for being here. Feel free to let me know how everything is happening with you. And uh, my lovely friends here are listening to my show, Susanna Medium. Thanks very much for tuning in. And this is our show, Susanna Medium. And uh, I'm sending you lots of love and many, many blessings. And come back in seven days' time. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.